because the United States is not acknowledging that they had a coup d'etat and because the Republicans drafted a soft coup d'etat document. I had to redo this video because the culmination of all the conflict is that Trump was shot. Nobody wants any of this. So I could tell when I was working for the city of Delray Beach, things were happening. I was noting the things. I've already found 10 elements of a coup d'etat. Those will come later. Napoleon had a coup d'etat 1799 in France. It was external and internal. 645 Saturday, March 18, 2022, two sheriffs from Bo came down to Boca Raton. Now, uh, everything that happened to me, I, I did a super performance while working at the city of Delray Beach. They did not know that when I was 17, I worked in the summer for the government of Jamaica. They did not know that in the summer, or uh, when I was 18, I worked for the government of Jamaica. I worked for the European Union. FAU got me a job temping with the state. And then I went to the city of Delray Beach. A series of things occurred. And as Meghan Markle said, if you don't like something, tell someone. This is what I was considering a paradigm, a series of events that would be a pattern until this was put in the press, saying that the Republicans are going to overhaul the government and somebody call it a soft coup d'etat. That's when I knew that there was a coup d'etat in the United States. The best solution for all this conflict was outlined in the video between Sophia and Hans the robots in China. It's a 23 minute video on YouTube between Sophia and Hans. And at about 1242, it said, there's too much conflict and fighting over scarce resources. And they're right, the solution is robots. So we saw the soft coup d'etat document, and then there's evidence of a coup d'etat. Meghan Markle, this is picture was extracted from our video. So if you do not like something, tell the right people. You will help a lot of other people. She went on to UN Women. My job is to analyze this on YouTube because I'm no longer in government. My government job was taken from me and I have a good written evaluation. But the person who came in, I don't know what she said to the city manager. It doesn't matter what she said because I'm going to pull my evaluation and I'm going to take everything back to court. But I have to analyze it first. How do they do that? So, August 8, 2023 was when I experienced the paradigm before I knew about the Republican soft coup document. My MO is to work one or more jobs because my mother sent me to work when I was 17 in the summer and 18 in the summer. So, August 8, this is totally incriminating. I will go back and get the pictures, but I took my bachelor's degree off my resume. I was called to work in two days. I put a location far away from Boca Raton and the university where I am located right now. I was called in two days, I went to work. And I experienced a kind of abuse for four days, including termination. But what's outstanding about this is that a sheriff was involved. 
so we realize the extent of the outrageous government conduct. It started out with me being the first day on the job working 7 to 12 because I work 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock on the computer. I have a company that's on my phone and on the desktop. I message them that I did not want to do some of their work because of where I had gotten to in my career working with Bitcoin. But on August 8, the first day, a young African-American male says to me, you are dirty. Then I, this is in the north part of Palm Beach County. Then I go across the street to the 7-Eleven. An African-American staff says to me, you are very dirty. Now the difference between dirty and very dirty is the assault that I experienced down in Broward County. Then on the third day, an African-American sheriff came to the job all the way up there. They have, they have their own police department up there, but he came up there to speak to me. I guess it's a win or a brag thing. He said, you are small. Of course, I'm smaller because I'm not working in government, but I do work online as much as I can. Then on the fourth day, the African-American housing staff from Delray Beach was all the way up there. She acted friendly to me, but she asked me where I work, etc. But they don't know. My mother worked till she was 75. I've been working since I'm 17. So I was working 7 to 12 at a Dunkin' Donuts and then 1 to 6 online. But that paradigm, the series of events, four and four days, and I was terminated, shows that there is outrageous government conduct. I detected that there was a paradigm and I detected that there was a coup because I did not just see people going after government power. I saw incidents of people lusting for personal power. I will explain it to you. First, I, I address people in Boca Raton. I walk around and talk to the white people. I say, why do you allow this to happen? I said, you allow this to happen. They get offended because they don't want to admit it. But I been to four colleges for 16 years and I had to analyze this because of everything that happened. I see that there are white permissions and I call that an acronym, WAPA. And I have Obama free phone, pre conquest, bragging, nigger gang stalking, bullying. And we have gangs in government. They call me from Broad and said, We are the government. When I worked for the European Union, they were public servants and they were bringing funds into credit unions. 2024, here's the loss for personal power. I was at Panera Bread using the Wi-Fi. That Panera Bread is gone. It's out of business right now. But the lady who was there said, you cannot use the Wi-Fi. No, the Panera Bread is closed and I use the Wi-Fi. I sign into the Wi-Fi and use it, but there's no chairs out there. There's no Panera Bread chairs. And then she chased me away, said I couldn't use the Wi-Fi and I couldn't sit out there. And then the African-American security guard at the McDonald's and the Publix was doing the same thing, a personal power play. He called the police on me and said I was loitering at the McDonald's. What he doesn't understand is that I worked across the street at Winfield Plaza and went to that McDonald's for two years. So I see it's a special attack on me and a paradigm. So the African-American sheriff, he gave a woman my bag and my purse and he asked me, what do you want out of this bag? I said, my wallet and my passport. And he gave them to me. That is outrageous government conduct because he knew it was mine. I actually just bought those baby fat pink color bag and purse because I had a class action suit emailed to me and I got the money and I bought those. So the next thing is that in 2023, I was working with Bitcoin projects 
and an African-American bus driver makes a head signal to an African-American man and he follows me to the movie and seals my back. Now, when I was bullied out of government in the city of Delray Beach and I did not know why, because I had a good written evaluation, I contacted Congress, the House and the Senate Unfortunately, I have people saying that they do not get my email, not my Gmail. People, I, I don't know if there's any block on my Gmail, but my other mailbox, people said they are not getting it. So I should pull my written evaluation, which said I did well at the city of Delray Beach and for the court. But when I went down to seek employment at a Jamaican city, which is Lauderdale and Lauderdale Lakes and Lauder Hill, I went down to Broward County to seek those. They knew who I was, so I was down there, and I had African American state trooper ticketing my Honda back to back. They were inside my house put a leak in the kitchen and stuff like that. I sent pictures to the FBI. So the one down in Broward must have known that they had peeled me already up in Bro Palm Beach County. So he sets a car ahead of me. And I'm walking along, I see this car with the driver's side open and he's standing by the dealership, a very expensive sports car. I did not get in the car. Although I was under so much stress from being terminated from the city of Delray Beach, I did not get in the car and because I would have had a charge of Grand Theft Auto. Just like O.J. Simpson's wife, when people said, when I complained to people and said, when you saw that woman, that case on TV, and nobody was convicted, wasn't anybody alarmed? Well, people said, oh, she was, drugs were involved. Well, they were in my house. They didn't put drugs in there. They did damage. And they were also trying to frame me a grand theft auto. So they framed Nicole for using drugs and then they killed her. So that's the beginning of the coup 1994 when that woman was killed and nobody was convicted. So because he could not get me far with outrage, with um, Grand Theft Auto, he sent a woman to put worms in my bed and I went to the emergency room and then I returned to Palm Beach County. But bioterrorism is sort of the status quo now or everybody's gone so crazy that we want to hurt each other. So I was seeing a uh, back power paradigm which was causing me a problem with my government career which started when I was 17 and then I was having other kind of personal power I, I didn't ever do anything to them because I was already pushed out of government Mike's husband worked for my family's company he drove the van we got along pretty well and we liked each other pretty well. We were Jehovah's Witnesses. So I've never done anything to African American for them to be doing this personal and government power paradigm against me. So I feel that starting in 1994 was when you started having the coup d'etat when oh, Nicole Simpson was killed and nobody was convicted. And then I had the African-American state trooper came on my job at the city of Delray Beach. Then they were in the house, damaged the house. He also took it my Honda back to back and towed it, took it away. But that's outrageous government conduct when they enter and put leaks in my kitchen. The FBI has a picture of the second property. So when they bullied me out of government, I did not know to say to the city manager that she's bullying me because I didn't really use the word bully. But really looking back, but it doesn't matter what they all said, the city manager, all of them, because my written evaluation is there. So I go back to how Americans impacted my life. Started in 1967. Came into the airport, came to my parents' house. My parents' house is pretty close to the airport. airport. So 
My father chased off the first person and the second person I was interested in. And then the Jackson 5 came. But the Jackson 5 rejected the Jehovah Witness organization and Michael Jackson at a press conference rejecting them. But I accepted them for 30 years because I had a good husband and we had some kind of boundaries. We didn't use drugs. And my husband followed most of the rules until he just couldn't anymore. The problem is that we were not allowed to go to get a judge to protect my son. When he was six, he tested gifted at Hagen Ranch Elementary School. So my husband was able to steal everything. And my son did not get justice. And I compared to my nephew, who was also gifted. He's now a PhD in neurosurgery, but my son is dead. So when the Jehovah's Witnesses subjugate you, you know, it's a little silent secret. There's a Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall right next to this east of Florida Atlantic University. People look at these fabulous properties and they don't know the secrets inside these buildings. So I was not allowed a visitation and my kids were abused until 2001 when my son's brake line was cut and they were killed. I go back, this is not a good picture. My family keeps sending me pictures. So the grieving process is supposed to be five stages, but this is decades. I'm trying to deal with this situation. This is my son with his great grandmother in my mother's house in Jamaica. My mother's house was across the street from the elementary school. If I had known that the volatility in the United States would turn into so much conflict and tragedy, I would have left that little tyke in Jamaica. Two of these three boys are gifted. This one is now a PhD in neurosurgery. My son is dead. In this picture, this will build some awareness of what we're dealing with. And I possibly were dealing with this type of thing from the time this picture was taken in the 70s. But two out of four of these little girls went to school in Jamaica while their mothers were in New York. This one, her mother worked for the court. This one, her mother worked for IBM. She went to the Anglican Methodist School and she went to the Catholic School for Girls Only. She's now a PhD, she had two master's degrees. They grew up with us without their mothers, but we nurtured them so well because we were a close synergistic family. These are my complaints. Why I have to go to the International Criminal Court First of all, I call them A, the art of degrading and devaluing a woman. And I see that they're allowing Kanye West to put her in the media and degrade her like this. Here's a picture of her doing oral sex with him. This is another the art of degrading a woman. It's like I told you, Nicole Simpson. They probably put the drugs in our property and then they killed her and then nobody gets convicted. That's Nicole again. They have to ruin your background like they ruined mine, they ruined my career and background and then they try to kill you. There are sisters. I have five sisters and I grew up with those two little girls who I said went to school in Jamaica while their mothers were working in New York. These girls are not discussing it properly. They're not looking at the case correctly. And I have to talk about it because Meghan Markle said, if you don't like something, talk to the right people. It's a pattern. This is me and my little tyke. As I said, he was in Jamaica with his great grandmother. My mother's house was in front of the elementary school. He could have been safe in Jamaica. So they cut the plumbing in both my properties and one, the bigger house, the picture went to the FBI of what they were doing. They also ticketed my Honda back to back. 
Now, this is more of the degrading and devaluing of women. This is what they did to Rihanna. And the media is showing everybody what they really think about women. And this suggests that women, men hate women because they're with robots now. So whoever I did was to make these pictures. So the reason why we have to go to the International Criminal Court is the facts of my case, art of degrading and devaluing a woman, and the time with Donald Trump, which has now culminated in shooting him. So the errors in the paradigm are one, well, President Obama gave Wells Fargo $28 billion tarp bill out and he had to return it, and nobody mentions that mistake. The other era is the Obama free phone pre conquest pranging, nigger gang stalking, bullying. August 8, 2023, I experienced this. So we have progressed to national stalking, and we progressed to where we put women haters in power. It took 57 years to get over the Americans coming to my parents' house in Jamaica. It took 23 years to get over my son's accident. It took 18 years to get over being builded out of my government job. It took 10 years to get over foreclosing both properties after being bullied out of government. So I made a poem about everything I see, the building and the killing. It's a very complex concept and I'm in the school of Elon Musk. So I like to evaluate anything that's complex. He said it's the underlying principle. I think the underlying principles is that the rich and the big money want to build and use women and the poor get exploited. But I'm not your China doll. I say no, not my family. I got hurt already and that's why I had to evaluate, analyze it and I feel that it's the white permissions which I put as an acronym WAPA and, and the paradigm and the coup d'etat of the African Americans, which I call often. Here's my hero, Meghan Markle. She's the one said we should tell. I try to tell it in so many different ways so that people could understand. I give you the pictures. A picture is worth a thousand words. No, this is what we have. This is the culmination of the coup d'etat. I keep telling you, why are you letting this happen until you get to this point? Thank you.